Welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another set of awesome eShop deals. Plus, we'll take one last look at some other eShop deals before they expire in the upcoming days. The Figmic games are some great indie games for the Switch. Both games follow Dusty and Piper, who are one of the many inhabitants in a person's mind. In the first game, they encounter different emotions and thoughts within this person's mind, and one day, dark thoughts arise, and things start to go crazy, and Dusty and Piper team up to try to chase away the fears and monsters. Even though there is a bit of action to the gameplay, it has a lot of puzzle solving, and it's a bit of a narrative-driven game with a heavy emphasis on music, especially during those awesome boss battles. It's a really nice game, and for just $1.99, basically two bucks, you're getting a steal of a price for a very polished game. The sequel continues the adventures of Dusty and Piper as the chaos returns, and the game is just as polished as the first game, featuring some well-made puzzles, excellent music, and lots of nice voice acting. This one, unlike the first game, does have a demo in the eShop, so do make sure to check that out. It's on sale for a brand new low price of just $9.99 until March 4th. In terms of fun co-op party games, Kiwi is a bit of a hidden gem. In this game, you play as one of the Kiwi birds who are tasked with helping to run a post office. There's various stages that are basically mini-games that have you doing things such as mailing out letters, sorting packages, swatting bugs, and typing up messages. Now keep in mind, these birds really don't have arms. All they can do is butt bounce and pick up things with their beak. So a lot of the game is trying to figure out how to do things with just those abilities all while working together. As silly as it sounds, it ends up being a lot of fun. It's on sale for $8.49 until February 25th. Witcher 3 on Switch is something that I've finally had a chance to really sink my teeth into. For the last two or three weeks, I've been playing the heck out of it, and I'm impressed. CDPR did an excellent job with this port. The game itself is amazing, of course. It has some of the best character building and world building I've ever seen in the RPG genre. The complete edition is just packed to the brim with content, and as much as I've played so far, I've only really gotten to the end of the main game, and I still got the massive expansions to row through. If you have never played Witcher 3 before, you can expect to easily pour over 100 hours into this game, if not 200 plus, if you consider yourself a completionist. Right now on the eShop, you can get the digital complete edition for just $23.99. Trust me, it's worth every penny. Combining kaijus and beat-em-up gameplay makes for a match made in Monster Heaven. In Dawn of the Monsters, you take control of one of four different kaijus and smash and grab your way through destructible cities as well as take on different monster foes and other enemies. Along the way, you'll be able to customize your monsters with DNA augments to customize your kaijus to your liking. The game looks slick as heck, it's fun to play, and it has a local co-op options so a buddy can join you in the kaiju brawling. It's on sale for 50% off at $14.99 until February 26. Vitamin Connection is an exclusive Nintendo Switch game developed by WayForward. In this game, you take control of one or two characters and attempt to fight off viruses and other enemies with a ship that is controlled with the Joy-Con through motion controls as well as button controls on the controller. The game is easy to pick up and play, there's a nice variety to the gameplay, it has a killer soundtrack too, and again, it's a Switch exclusive. So if you're looking for a game that you can't get anywhere else, well this one is one of those games. Make sure to give the demo on the eShop a try to see if you like it or not. It's on sale for $6.99, a brand new low price for it on the eShop. Spider Soars is a game where run and gun gameplay gets masked up with a Saturday morning cartoon. You take control of one or two characters, one who can shoot with a baseball ammo filled Gatling gun, and another who shoots off attacks with an electric guitar. Yes, this game is a silly one for sure, but it is a blast to play with some slick graphics, a nice soundtrack, and it has two-player local co-op play support in addition to the single player. It's definitely worth a look if you're into run and gun games. It's on sale for $9.99 until February 26th. 
WayForward has done some excellent work with the River City Girls series, a spin-off series from the Kunio Kun games that star Misako and Kayoko, the girlfriends of Kunio and Ricky. The first game is on sale for $14.99. The sequel is much bigger than the first game, bumping the roster up to six characters, featuring a bigger city than the first one to explore, and even has online co-op, which the first one actually lacks. It's on sale for $27.99. River City Girls Zero is an updated English localized version of a Super Famicom game that we never got here in the West. This actually marks the first appearance of Kayoko and Mizako in the series. This release adds new motion comic cutscenes, a new animated intro, new music, and of course a English translation. It's on sale for $10.49. Now there is a bundle that has all three games included for $52.49, which is a brand new low price for it on the eShop. But if you've never played these games before, I'd probably suggest just to get one for now. Perhaps maybe the first one, or the second one if you're interested in online co-op. For those who like classic games, or retro games, there's a few titles on sale this week that can be had for just a few bucks each. Avenging Spirit is an arcade action platformer where you're a ghost that is able to possess enemies in order to attack other enemies. At the start, you just have a few that you can take control of, but as you advance in the game, the roster of playable enemies increases. It's a neat concept for a game that helps to add some variety to the gameplay. It's on sale for $2.99. Glay Lancer is a Sega Mega Drive game that is a scrolling shoot 'em up that's honestly one of the better ones for the system. The main gimmick here is that the ship is able to obtain satellite options called gunners that are able to be positioned in different formations as well as power-ups that can change the shot types. This one is such a blast to play, I highly recommend this one. It's on sale for $3.49. Gainog is another Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis game and this one is another scrolling shooter too. This one stands out from many others due to its mythology slash horror aesthetic and the fact that you take control of an angel warrior instead of a spaceship. The background visuals for this one are amazing, especially during some of the boss fights. It's some impressive stuff. It's on sale for $3.49 too. The next two games go on sale quite often, but don't think for a single second that just because they go on sale so much that they are bad games or something. The Guacamelee games are some of the best Metroidvania games out there. They combine elements of side-scrolling beat-em-ups and brawlers with classic Metroidvania elements. Seriously, make it a point to play these games if for some reason you haven't yet. You can easily do that for cheap, actually. Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition is the definitive edition of the first game, and it's just $3.74 via the eShop sale. The complete edition of Guacamelee 2 is on sale for $5.62. For less than $10, you can get a pair of Metroidvania games that are some of the best on the system. Saints Row, the big purple package contains the Switch versions of Saints Row the 3rd and Saints Row 4. Longtime viewers know my love for these games, especially for the third one. They are fun, open world games that are even better in co-op play, and both Switch ports have local wireless and online co-op options. Now in both games here are the complete editions. They have all the DLC ever released for it included in the package. You can get the bundle for just $4.49, which is a steal in all honesty. This basically makes it just $2.25 per game. It's just mind-blowing when you think about that. You can't even get a proper meal at McDonald's for that price. If by some chance you only want one game, or already own one of the games in this bundle, well each game can be bought separately for $3.99 too until February 19th. There's another bundle that's a steal too, that being the Metro Redux bundle. It contains both Metro 2033 and Last Light Redux. These horror style FPS games still hold up after all these years. They have a nice spooky atmosphere combined with a nice narrative driven story and gameplay. The bundle is on sale for $4.49, a brand new low price on the eShop. 
Again, that just breaks down to basically $2.25 per game. Though if you just want one, or already own one, each game itself is on sale for $3.99 each until the 19th. Red Fox and Gorilla Remastered is the remastered version of the open world sequel to the original Red Faction game. You play as a fighter who is part of the Red Faction movement fighting against the Earth Liberation Force, and he does that by blowing stuff up. Okay, it's a little bit more complex than that, but man, with the amount of damage you can do to the environment of this game, it's an absolute blast. It's a fun multiplayer game too. This is back on sale for just $2.99, a absolute steal for this game. Road 96 Full Journey contains two games, Road 96 and its prequel, Road 96 Mile Zero. These are two narrative-driven adventure games where you are faced with many choices that have profound effects on the outcome in the game as you travel. For those curious on how the games are on Switch, there is a demo for the first game, Road 96 on the eShop. Both games are on sale individually, but the bundle here allows you to save a lot more. It's just $9.44, which breaks down to less than 5 bucks per game. Mighty Goose is such a treat. I mean, how can you not love this game? It's a loving tribute to the Metal Slug series, with awesome run-and-gun gameplay, and over-the-top boss battles, a killer soundtrack to JM2, and it has plenty of humor in-game to boot. I mean, you play as a goose in a battle suit. That alone is bonkers. It's such a joy to play, and one that you definitely need to check out and get for the system. I consider it to be a hidden gem. It's on sale right now on the eShop for $7.99 until February 23rd. Dice Legacy is a unique survival city builder where you use dice to explore the wilderness, gather resources for your colony, as well as build new buildings, and try to survive. The dice mechanics really helps to set this apart from other city builders out there, or even strategy games, as there is quite a bit of luck and randomness with what happens as you play and roll the dice. It's on sale for $3.74 until February 19th. Ace Breed is a rare type of shoot 'em up that as you play, changes perspective. At times it's a vertical shooter, other times it's a horizontal shooter, and other times it becomes a rail shooter, like Space Harrier. It's pretty crazy, but it definitely helps to make it stand out from the many other shoot 'em ups out there. This combined with some excellent shooting and the non-stop action it throws at you helps to make it a shoot 'em up that's very much worth playing. It's just three dollars and ninety-nine cents until February twenty-third. Proto Corgi is a shoot 'em up that can be classified as a cute em up, or in this case, a pup em up. This shooter has you barking, shooting, and dodging your way through various stages as a cybernetic corgi. I mean, if that concept doesn't sell you on the game, well, then this game is not for you. Funny stuff aside, it's actually got some pretty solid gameplay, and this is no pushover. It does provide a nice challenge, and it's coupled with a killer soundtrack and has some nice boss battles too. I think this is one that is definitely worth picking up, and it's at a super cheap price too. It's just $2.09 until February 19th. If you like shoot 'em ups, then there is no reason not to get this one. It's a darn good deal. What happens when you combine Japanese fantasy franchise Record of Lodos War with Castlevania Symphony of the Night? Well, you get Record of Lodos War, Deedlet, and Wonder Labyrinth, a absolutely gorgeous looking action RPG Metroidvania. I love the visual style, no doubt it'll be the first thing that will catch your eye about this game. But beyond the visuals, the gameplay absolutely shines. It's heavily inspired by the famous Castlevania game, but I do love the twists in the gameplay that separates itself from that game with its heavy use of Deedlet's bow in both battle and use of solving puzzles, as well as with the magic system and elemental abilities and puzzles that are strangely inspired by the game Ikaruga, a shoot 'em up. It ends up being such an awesome experience from start to finish and it's one of the better metrovanias for the system. Do yourself a favor and check out this hidden gem on Switch. It's on sale for $17.49 until February 23rd. The developers behind Deedlet and Wonder Labyrinth also made a shoot 'em up called Drainus. 
This shooter's main gimmick is the reflector ability that allows you to absorb enemy attacks and convert them into upgrades such as different style shots, homing missiles, shields, lasers, and more. It's a bit of a different take on the Gradius series upgrade system. Beyond the terrific gameplay is the beautiful visuals a Team Ladybug is known for. It's on sale for $13.99, a brand new little price for it on the eShop until February 23rd. Master Boy and the Cursed Kingdom might be the best one in the Wonder Boy series yet. It looks absolutely gorgeous with the visuals and animation, but it also happens to be the biggest adventure yet. A huge Metroidvania adventure that dwarfs the other games in size and scope. If you really appreciate Metroidvania games, then you absolutely have to check this one out. It's one of the very best games on Switch. It's on sale on the eShop for 75% off at $9.99 until February 22nd. If you haven't yet seen this past Friday's video, do make sure to check it out. I'll have a link to it in the comments down below. There's more eShop goodness to check out in that one. If you appreciate the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, consider becoming a subscriber today and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the next video.